Welcome to another episode of Tacoa Talks. I'm Lauren and I'm excited to share something with you I feel like God has put on my heart. It's been a crazy year and a crazy season and there's been a lot of heaviness and weariness in this season. And I think for some of us, we might be coming out of a crazy distance learning season with kids where there's been a lot that you're juggling with work and life and kids school and schedules and you are excited about summer coming, but there's still a heaviness of what this season was. Or maybe you've been struggling with loss. You've lost a loved one and you haven't really been able to grieve and it's hitting you differently and it's it's something that you're processing and you're trying to figure out how to still worship God in this season, how to still be joyful in this season. And so I wanna to turn to scripture because I think that there's a word God has given me to share with you about how to worship in this season. And so to set the stage, we're gonna be looking in Luke chapter 19, and this is Palm Sunday. Jesus is riding into town, and the Pharisees are challenging Jesus with what to do in this season and how to worship him and are challenging him on the idea of how his disciples should respond. And so let's look and see what Jesus says and unpack it a little bit. So Luke 19 verse 39, and some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, teacher, rebuke your disciples. And he answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the very stones would cry out. The very stones. When we think about stones, we think about these immovable, just inanimate objects that are there. But Jesus is saying that they are worshiping him. So even if the disciples are not, they will. And I think sometimes when we look at this scripture, we can think about it as, well, if we don't, they will. If we aren't worshiping, they will. They have that purpose. That's what they're doing. That's their whole life being is to worship God. But the way that I've been interpreting this and what I feel like God wants me to share today is that it's not if we don't, they will, but they are a reminder that we can. They are a reminder that in a season where we feel like an inanimate object that is just there, that we can still worship, that we can still cry out to God. And I think sometimes our friends and our family and other people can be those rocks in our life to remind us that we can worship God, that we can find joy in a season of heaviness and weariness. And so I'd like to challenge you, if you feel like you've been a little stuck, if you feel like that inanimate object that's just there, I encourage you to worship God and to be reminded by those that are around you that you can worship God and you can rely on their worship to encourage your worship, that their strength can be your strength, that they are there to help guide you and encourage you and give you hope. And so I'd love to hear from you about how you're worshiping in this season, how you're finding hope in this season. And if you're encouraged by this, I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to be an encouragement to you. So make sure to hit the like button and subscribe below. Have a great day, everybody.